He looks to that heart, what is inside. And also your deeds. Are you doing evil deeds or righteous deeds? Is this clear to everyone? Abu Huraira, radiallahu anhu said, The heart is the king, and the rest of the body, organs, are his soldiers. So if the king is upright, then the organs will be the same. And when the king is corrupt, the rest will be corrupt. So this parable, Abu Huraira is giving us this parable, this similitude, like a king and his subordinates. So if the king, the head is corrupt, what do you expect those below him? They will be corrupt. The meanings of heart in Arabic, qalb, what we say the meaning of heart? What's the meaning? Uh, what we call it? Heart, qalb. qalb. So what's the meaning of qalb in the Arabic language? The best part of anything, we call it qalb. So the core, the core of anything, the kernel of anything, the core of anything is called qalb. Because normally the core or the kernel is the best thing. So that's called qalb. Also qalb means, you see now, qalabtul waraqa. To overturn. So uh, the kalb also called, it is called kalb because that's the best organ in your body. True or not? If it stops, finish. That's the end of your life. Heart attack. So it's the best in your body. Second thing, it also keeps what? Changing. It keeps changing its state. That's just like overturning. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who created this heart. He says, فَإِنَّهَا لَا تَعْمَلْ أَبْصَارُ وَلَكِنْ تَعْمَلْ قُلُوبُ الَّتِي فِي الصُّدُورِ Which means, truly it is not their eyes that are blind, but their hearts which are in their breasts. Surah 22, Ayah 46. So Allah is saying, truly not their eyes that are blind, but their hearts are blind. So there is heart blindness. And bear in mind, who is talking? Who is speaking? The creator. Don't forget that. So the one who created the heart says that the heart also becomes blind. The types of heart. Hearts are categorized. al qalbu salim pure heart. There are hearts that are pure. May Allah make our hearts pure. I mean, pure hearts. They don't have this malice, grudge, rancor, all this. No. Pure heart. The Prophet ﷺ said, Brothers and sisters, I'm advising myself and yourself, and you too, that when you go to sleep, reset the heart. You know the counter? You reset it to zero? I want you... You reset your heart every night. Clear your heart. Don't hold any grudge or malice or rancor against any Muslim. Say, oh Allah, I forgave all my brothers and sisters. Because you don't know, maybe you will never be able to wake up the next day. You will die. So do you want to die while holding many things in your heart? That's how you will be resurrected on that day. Having years of plans of revenge. You want to revenge. The Prophet ﷺ said, A man now will enter upon us. He is from among the people of Jannah. He was sitting with the Sahaba. He said, now a man will come. This man, is all, he will be among the inhabitants. He will go to the Jannah. And all of a sudden, this companion entered. And his beard was wet just performed his wudu. And he said this three times, and it happened to be the same companion. Then one of the companions, the youngs among the Sahaba, went to him and said, Uncle, I want to be your guest for three days. He said, you are most welcome. And he stayed in the house of this man for three days, and he didn't see anything abnormal. In the sense, he's not praying most of the night. Nothing, just like us. He said, Uncle, the reason I told you that I want to be your guest, the Prophet told us this, so tell me what is the secret. 
I haven't seen anything that we don't do that you do, or that you do that we don't do. He said, listen, son, I don't do much, but when I go to bed, I forgive all Muslims. Don't hold anything in my heart. These are the pure hearts. The second type is the al-qalbul mayyid, dead heart. Some hearts are dead. And the owner of this heart, he does not know his creator. Imagine someone, he doesn't know his creator. He doesn't know his Lord. He doesn't know why he is in this life. If I ask him, what is the purpose of this pen? He say to write. What's the purpose of this watch? To tell me time. What's the purpose of this shirt? To cover my nakedness. What is the purpose of your pair of shoes? To protect my feet. What is your purpose in life? Nothing. The pair of shoes, they have a purpose. And you don't. The pair of shoes more important than yourself. Imagine a human being, he doesn't know why he is in this life. Do you think in this life, yes, you came like that? No. You are created for a purpose. And you have to fulfill your mission in this life. So many people, they don't want to know. That's why the Quran said, those, they are worse than the animals. They are worse than the cattle. The cattle in the field, they know their creator. The battle in the field, they know the creator. And you don't know your creator? And he might tell you, my creator is mother nature. I will tell him, listen, what is mother nature? Don't you know? Mother Nature is nothing more than inanimate plants and animals. This is Mother Nature. Look around yourself and see what surrounds you. You will be surrounded by inanimate. That means non-living things. Trees, mountains, oceans, non-living things, inanimate. Plants, animals, human beings. We ask you, which is the least complex and who is the most complex? You'll find inanimate, plant, animals, human beings. True or not? And you find the inanimate, the soil, serves the plant, serves the, the animal, serves the human being. So all these things are made for you to serve you. Who made them subservient to you to serve you? Who made that? You yourself. Allah made the elephant so tamed the little child will lead that elephant who made it you if you made the elephant so tamed then why can't you make the scorpion also so tamed the scorpion little small insect can you tame the scorpion it will bite you so it is the creator who made this elephant tame and this creature so poisonous and you cannot bring it under your control and that is mother nature. All these things are below you. How you lower yourself, oh mankind, and you say, mother nature created me. You have intelligence. Mother nature doesn't have intelligence. How did mother nature give you intelligence when it doesn't have it? So it is Allah, the creator who created you. So people who say these things, they have dead hearts. They don't know Allah. They don't know the creator. They don't know the reason they are here for. And the third type of heart is sick heart. And this heart that is sick, the sick hearts, why they get sick? Because of committing the haram. Now, the things that affect the heart, destroy the heart. Number one, brothers and sisters, is too much mingling with people. You're always mingling with the people, mixing with the people to the extent you have no time to sit by yourself. At least a Muslim should sit with him by himself on daily basis for half an hour at least. Before you go to sleep, you sit alone and ask yourself. This is self-analysis, self-inventory. Ask yourself, what did I do today? 